champion to the eligible ranks. And her performances here in Edmonton have been widely anticipated. Jim McKay takes a look at her path back to the Worlds. It wasn't far from where we are tonight, down the road in Calgary at the 1988 Olympic Winter Games, that a little Japanese skater named Midori Ito burst onto the international scene. She only finished fifth, but her unlimited potential was obvious. A year later, Midori Ito changed history. At the 1989 World Championships, she accomplished what no other woman had done before. As the first woman to land a triple axle in competition, Ito scored five sixes for technical merit and skated away the first Japanese woman to claim the world title. It was a stunning victory, accomplished in a manner that was fearless. But the rising sun of Midori was eclipsed two years later at the 1991 World Championships. During a routine warm-up for the short program, Ito and French skater Leticia Hubert collided with such force that Midori walked away not only visibly shaken, but with a gash in her leg. Later, Midori took the ice only to endure another blow. This time, her habit of jumping too close to the boards resulted in her falling out of the rink. Many would have given up, but Midori instead got up and finished fourth, charming the crowd. Nineteen ninety-two. This would be her year, she thought, to win the Olympic gold medal and justify her country's pride in her. Instead, during her short program, she skated poorly, so poorly that she apologized to her fans. Still, she went on to win a silver medal. Since then, she's found her perfect showplace, the world of professional skating. There, she's even defeated her old Olympics rival, Christy Yamaguchi. But she has something yet to prove, so she returns to the eligible ranks, technically an amateur again, to give it one more try on the world scene. She was only 19 years old at her first world championship. That was back in 1988. Of course, she won in 1989. Here she is once again, Midori Ito of Japan. And her music, also The Firebird by Stravinsky. Midori feels she may have lost some of her power because of her age and her weight loss, but we will see if that is right. Her opening move is her triple axle double toe. The first woman to do this jump, the only woman to do it today. The risk is enormous. And there, there could easily blow her chances for a gold medal at this championship. In the warm-up, she didn't even try a triple axel. Triple toe loop. Peggy, you mentioned the warm-up. She looked very uneasy in the warm-up, and she's looked nervous even in the qualifying skates. She certainly did. She skated very conservatively in the qualifying. Remember the disaster that happened to Elvis Stoiko when he missed his element in the short program? It blew him out of the water. I'm afraid that will have be the problem here for Midori Ito. It simply depends upon how the others perform. Midori said she has worked the hardest on her artistry this past season to prepare for this World Championships. I can really see the difference in her style.
into the last required element, death drop. Did you notice her clutching her stomach during the warm-up period of time as though she was having pains in her stomach? As Sounds to me like the pressure is so enormous on this girl, so enormous that she can probably, you know, just suffer so much from it. Look at this now as she steps into this triple axle. Everything, good height, good revolution. She, it was almost as though she just couldn't hold it. There was no reason for that not to land. I didn't see any problem mm -hmm. with that technically. Uh, maybe she just didn't get the height that she usually gets in that triple axle. It's almost as though her heart wasn't there. She really has not looked relaxed since she arrived here in Edmonton. Midori Ito right now certainly not all that happy about what took place on the ice. Remarks for required elements, 5-2 to 5-4. Remember, this is the required element. Her art artistic marks have never has been as high as some of the other women. In this case, good. 5.4, Dick, up to 5.7, not the triumphant return that Midori Ito wanted.